Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. This video comes directly from the video I shared this morning. If you missed it, I'm actually gonna link a card here, but I did a huge Amazon haul of nail foils and nail art. I actually delved, I went deep into the rabbit hole that is nail foil art. Now I know this has been around for years. I'm very late to the party and so many of you have already been doing it, but I am beginning my ocean themed videos. So what I did was I went through that huge haul that I got from Amazon. Everything's going to be linked below in my Amazon storefronts, by the way. And I grabbed the most oceany, the most <laughs> beachy foils that I could find that would work really, really well in these ocean pendants. And these three, oh, they're beautiful. Now again, another shout out to Sharon Lindley from Vivid Days. I've been friends with Sharon coming up six years now when I first started my channel. I saw her use foils on her channel the other day and that is why. That is, I blame, I'm blaming Sharon for my spending on Amazon, but Amazon says thank you. First thing we're gonna do is stick our bezels down. Now I am using this tape specifically designed for UV resin and it enables you to stick your open bezels down making sure that none of that resin's gonna seep out of any of the edges. We just have to give them a really good shove and a really good squish. Now to create my background, you can do anything guys. I'm gonna use UV resin, but you could use epoxy. You can use your colored UV resin. You could use your polyurethane, the UK or the USA version. I'm also gonna be using my UV resin, but I'm also gonna color it. So I'm gonna show you, if you don't have colored UV resin, how you can color it yourself if you can't get your hands on that. Now, in my haul video, I did show you that I bought the gel glue. I end up not using it, because again, I'm new to this, so I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just be honest and put it out there. I didn't use it because I'm like, how do you, how 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 do you use it? Um, no idea. I'm gonna learn though. I am gonna learn. First, open bezel. I'm gonna use the coloured UV resin that Let's Resin sent me. Now, again, if you don't have coloured UV resin, you can colour your own, and I'm just about to show you how. The bezel on the right is going to be clear. Now, again, this is very much for experimental purposes because never done this before, so we'll see how it turns out. For the bezel in the middle, we're gonna color our own UV resin. So this is resin dye. It's not alcohol ink, it is transparent resin dye. So I've put one drop of blue into my little cup and I've added in some of my UV resin. I guess you could mix this up in the bezel if you wanted to save a cup and you didn't wanna make a mess, you could absolutely mix this up in the bezel. For me, it was just way easier to get it mixed in the cup and make sure that that resin dye is completely saturated throughout that UV resin. Then again, just spread it around with your cocktail stick or your micro brush tool to make sure that it reaches all the edges. Once we've done all three, we're just gonna hit them with our long neck lighter to pop any of those surface bubbles that you may see. If you are very new to this, I hope this is helpful for you like a step by step. Okay, next up, what we wanna do, we don't wanna cure it for long guys. We do not want to cure it for long. 10 seconds and then test it. If the foil is sticking, great. If the foil is not sticking, Go in for another five seconds. You do not, at this point, you do not want this cured, cured. Not fully cured. We want it sticky. We want it sticky. And that is where the nail foil glue would come in handy. But again, <laughs> I've never used it before. So I'm just doing exactly what I saw Sharon do. And that was to wait until her resin was tacky. Just a little bit tacky. Now I do believe that Sharon used epoxy resin in her videos but again this is all UV resin so there is a risk that your UV lamp will cure it too much but you see here it's a bit of a slip and slide it's not staying in so I put them back under the UV light again you can see here it's just not staying it's super sticky and wet at this point so it still needed to go under the UV light for another five seconds and I was just doing that so five seconds five seconds five seconds and you can see here 
straight away how it's staying in this time. That's how you know it's okay. You've caught it right at the right time. So you definitely don't want to over cure your UV resin because the tape might not necessarily stick. Again, this is where glue comes in handy, but I've said it a million times. This is new to me. So again, <laughs> if you've done this, let me know what you do. This is all I know. So complete beginner. At this point, I decided it's easier to not have gloves. Now that's not ideal. I'm not getting wet UV resin on my hands at this point because it's pretty much cured. It's just tacky enough to grip that tape. So I did take my gloves off because they were just a hindrance and actually using a wooden stick was way easier to scrape. So what we're doing now is we're literally shoving the stick into those nail foils and digging down to get it to actually stick to the semi-cured UV resin. At this point, I just put in some of those gems. So if you watched a video a couple of videos back, I got some gorgeous metal beads sent to me by I Love Mixed Media, that's Denise, over at I Love Mixed Media, and they're stunningly reflective. I used them in the miniature koi fish pond. I figured they'd give our little oceans a little bit of a glimmer and a little bit of bling. Then I'm using my little tool to get that UV resin to the edges. So this is another layer of UV resin. I fully cured it for about 40 seconds at this point. I knew I needed more than 10. So I put it in for 10 seconds. I put it in for another 10 seconds. I put it in for another 10 seconds. And it was after about 30 to 40 seconds. It was just at the perfect tackiness for the foil. So definitely have a play around with your timings because do not fully cure it. Don't put it in for two minutes. Just, just take it easy. Go five or 10 seconds at a time until you get that absolutely perfect stickiness for your foil. Have a play because every UV resin is different and every UV nail lamp has different strengths. So I cannot tell you exactly how to do it. You just have to have a play. This foil here reminds me of the cells that you get when the waves crash against the shoreline and you get those gorgeous kind of cells. What I didn't want was complete and total coverage. I didn't, I didn't want the whole of the bezel to have this design on it. I wanted hints of it, but not too much because I didn't want them to look like fishnet tights <laughs> or fishnet stockings, if you will. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's why I did it this way. Next up, once I've done that second layer of foil, I'm adding another layer of UV resin into this we are going with some ocean waves oh my gosh I have never done this before I loved it I loved it I added a teeny teeny tiny bit of white acrylic paint into some UV resin again if you don't have UV resin you can absolutely do this with epoxy you just have to wait for each layer to cure so what would take me an hour might take you two or three days if you're doing multiple layers depending on your two-part epoxy which is why UV resin <laughs> oh my gosh I've fallen head over heels in love with it for the speed so here you see me just using a cocktail stick with that white acrylic paint and UV resin concoction. It's quite runny, it's quite watery at this point and that's really what I wanted. I'm just going through my bezel, dragging, because we did lay down a clear layer of UV, so I'm dragging my cocktail stick in through that clear layer to leave behind this trace of white that's giving us these beautiful waves it's making it look like the waves are crashing into the corner of the bezel and really how you do this is genuinely up to you I was looking at the bezels thinking where's the most natural area for that white crashing wave and the one on the left it's kind of where the foil ended and where the gems began so I just created my wave there the one in the center I just went straight down the middle there was no natural line there for me so I just went straight down the middle and then I added a little bit into the top of the circle as well and I just went back in until I was completely and utterly happy again this is just to give us the element it's the idea of a wave it's not 
you know, a fully formed cellular wave. I've done oceans many times on my channel where I've done massive, huge canvas oceans with hundreds of cells. And it's not about that here. It's really about the minimal kind of miniature version of. So we're not going to get those cells, but we are going to get these beautiful wave effects. After I've hit it with my lighter, we are curing this. I have cured this now fully, fully and utterly cured. 200 seconds under my UV lamp. They are rock solid at this point. Rock solid. Not sticky, not tacky. We're not putting any more foils on. What we are doing, at least what I was hoping to do, was create some gorgeous silhouette images. Now, I am not a good freehand drawer. Um, what you're seeing on screen right now is a wooden stencil. I actually had some beautiful miniature wooden creatures, sea creatures, ocean creatures, cut for me by Moray over at Lothian Woodworks. Now, I've used all of the creatures, but that's left me with this piece of wood that really is like a stencil. And of course, even with a stencil, <laughs> I didn't do a very good job. <laughs> I decided, <laughs> I decided to not do any more. Trust me, guys. I tried to do a turtle freehand and I had to rub it out with alcohol because it was absolutely shocking. I was, I, it was, it was, I'm bad. It's bad. Okay. I don't have the skills, but I feel like the stencil was good enough for me to give you a kind of a shark. Let's just pretend he looks like a shark. After that was dried, I used my um, alcohol ink and I ended up using, not an alcohol ink, I used my permanent marker and I used a Posca pen to do that shark. The Posca pen gave me a much more graphic black. It was a black black, whereas the permanent Sharpie, it was a bit meh and a bit grey. So the Posca really brought it out. And Posca pens and resin work beautifully together. As long as they're dry, make sure they're dry. Once it was dry, I poured in one more layer of UV resin to create even more waves. This is going to give us that depth. So now you'll see that the silhouette of that shark or beluga whale, whatever it looks like, whatever I've ended up making it look like, is now underneath the top wave. So it is giving a sense of depth in our miniature oceans. And the other two, yes, I did leave them completely blank because my talent did not stretch that far. We are on the home stretch. We are in the very last layer and we are just top coating these off to create a beautiful dome as well. So this is slightly sped up for you because I took my merry time here. I poured my UV resin in and I used my cocktail stick to just move that UV resin around to all of the edges of these open bezels before hitting it with a flame, before getting it under my UV nail lamp for 200 seconds times three. Like I am always a bit extra when it comes to the full, to the, to the end cure. Three times 200 seconds is what I ended up doing. Okay, the reveal. Now, this was the clear. So bit of an experiment. Don't really love it. I think it definitely needs a blue, bl a blue back. This one here is the coloured UV resin, Bilet's resin. I, mwah, I love this so much. I absolutely love it. Now, if you do use clear resin, I would just recommend filling it up, to be honest, with your nail foil so you don't see through it. It's not ugly. It's very, very pretty in its own kind of abstract ocean way. But this one here, love it absolutely love it and finally this is the colored uv resin that we made ourselves with one drop of resin dye again i love it it almost looks like clouds looking down onto the ocean as well so three completely different ways and three completely different results i guess i wish i had the skills to be <laughs> drawing all of my little miniature sea creatures in there let me know which one is your favorite and let me know because i can see from today's video that so many of you use nail foils all the time so let me know what your favorite thing to do with them is let me know which method you prefer the best and yeah let me know your thoughts on these i absolutely love them my first time using nail foils and to be honest i need you to realize how easy this is for a beginner i really haven't done anything other than 
shoved some nail foil in. It looks so much more detailed. You'd look at this and think, wow, what's all that? Like, where's the, where's the blue and silver coming from? But the reality is it's nail foil. Really, all I've done to show you how to bring that nail foil to life is add multiple layers of clear UV resin in with a little bit of white acrylic paint. And that is it. And that is literally it. How incredible is that? I love them. I hope you do too. And I will see you all on Wednesday for my next video. Bye.